Body of Permanent Secretaries, Your Royal Majesties, all our community leaders, market women and men, chairmen and executive committee members of CDAs, all our artisans, tradesmen, and the good people of Alimosho Federal Constituency. Alimosho! Alimosho! God bless you. So firstly, when I see the crowd across on my right, and I see the crowd to my left, I'm assured once again that Alimosho, the largest federal constituency in the country, remains the most populated constituency in Lagos State. So, I'm just going to say a few words. Because what we are doing today is so historic and of great importance that we must send the message rightly so that people can understand why we are celebrating on Easter Monday the change in life of our people, which the resurrection of Christ is supposed to symbolize. First, we we'll salute all our political leaders. Firstly, Ashwa Jubala Metsunubu, for having that great vision. He started this vision of making this particular federal constituency a place of pride. So he started it with the Lasso Iba Road. So that when you move from Badagri and you enter into the Lasso Iba Road up to Igondo and Egbe and coming towards this way, you have easy transportation and you have a comfortable life. And he did it up to Egbe. While the present governor of the state of Oshu was the commissioner of works. So we must remember where this whole thing started. And then we took it. My predecessor took it, Governor Raji Fashola, up to Ikpaja. All in the build to build a new economy in this particular axis. So we've taken it from Ikpaja to Ayobo, to Command Secondary School. And then today, within the context of the bridge that we did in Aburu last year to link Abeson with Aburu, we are commissioning a total distance of 27.4 kilometers of road with two bridges. So what is the significance of what we are doing today? I will give you the equivalent distance of what we are doing today which we completed in the course of just one year. When you start from Ojodu Baga, so Kingsway Road, which is now Afred Rewane Road, that's 27.4 kilometers. That's the same equivalent of what we are doing today. When you start from Seven Up in Alausa, up to the first roundabout along the Lekki Epe Expressway, is 27.4 kilometers. That's what we are commissioning today. So you need to understand what this is all about. Now, is an alternative route. We don't need to congest ourselves on the road on the Abekuta Expressway, where you come from Gateway Hotel and you start driving Ojokoro, Ipaja, and all that. You can take this alternative route and go all the way to Ipaja up to Badagri without having anything to do with that axis. That's what we are doing today. So when you understand what this is all about, it's not done by Akeambode's money. I didn't put a cupboard there apart from my own taxes. It's the taxes that you have contributed that we have used to improve on this particular economy. That's my message, that we should make every part of Lagos economically viable and also livable so that all the people in this area can have the same kind of life that others are enjoying in the other axis of Lagos. 
So the idea is to open up all our suburban communities, reduce traffic congestion, and then create better life for those who pledged and voted for us. So Ali Moshon has been 100% loyal ever since Ashraju's time. So ever since Ashraju Bola met Sinimbu time, when we refer to this area as Tinumbu's country, you have never faltered and you have never failed. So in return, it's just good that we give you what people refer to as dividends of democracy. That's what we are doing here. So that we can connect you to the rest of Lagos. Now, just the same thing that we are doing here. We are also saying that we can connect a pet with Jebo Day. Just the same way we have connected the Tele community in Ogu State here, so that we can have economic integration with the neighboring states. We are not saying Tele is uh, in Ogu State, but it is imperative that we do the road so the commerce is improved upon. That's the whole essence of trying to do a pair in Jebo Day Road also. The whole essence of doing a Korodu in Mota, Itoki, Ijebo, the road. The whole idea of economic integration must be, you know, put in place by some people. And we have decided to do that. So, the same thing that we're trying to do between Mile 2, Badagri, and Seme. So that every other network in Lagos can have improved economy. So we don't all rush to the center and then allow new family owners, new homeowners to build up in other places. So here we're doing 21 roads today, two bridges, 27.4 kilometers. In addition to what you have said, I believe strongly that we need to dredge the Low River. So we are going to move forward, and I've also listened to what you have said. As part of the continuation of the improvements of this economy here, we will do the uh, Adekoya Road, Makinde Road, Suberi Oje Road, and then the Old Ota Road. Then is Shefun, is John, Davis Street. We will do it. Your boat ride between here and Marina, and you'll be there in 20 minutes. Let's go. Solo, solo, solo. Solo, solo. So, my good people, what do I want from you? So the first thing is this. We must encourage ourselves and encourage other people. The more you perform your civic responsibility, we have shown and want you to trust us. We will give you more value than the taxes that you are paying. Now, this opening up of this economy and the roads, is it for Christians alone? The answer is no. Is it for Muslim? No. Is it for Yoruba people? No. It's for all Nigerians. So the facility does not discriminate. And it doesn't say it's only Ambode that should use it. No. It's usable by everybody. Even those who are not paying taxes, they are using it. That is how development starts. And that's how we should take it. Now, the major message here is I want our people to take voters' registration very seriously. It's your civic rights. It's the only thing you can use. So we are going to engage all communities and even local governments. Let us go out and educate each other.